Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my beauty balance for November. So let's start with the products that I purchased this month. And I did one order that was a bit larger this month and I purchased two palettes and two shadows. Uh, I don't know why but I just have a weak spot for palettes at the moment. And the two palettes that I picked up are some that I wanted to try for so so long and those are from Juvia's Place. So let's start with this one because this is the one that I wanted for the longest time and that is the Masquerade palette uh, and this one is in the mini size because I feel like I don't, I won't go through the large pants ever so I purchased the small one uh, this was on a deal, I think this was 50% off for actually both of these were 50% off which I think is awesome, I purchased them from Beauty Bay and yeah this is what the Masquerade palette looks like, I think it's stunning I just swatched some of these shades, I haven't played around with this yet. I actually only got this about two days ago, so yeah, I only swatched this one, but it, it looks so beautiful and some of these shades are just like, they're so pigmented and beautiful, like, not sure if you will be able to pick that up. But yeah, you can see some of the swatches right there, they're just stunning shades and yeah, I'm just really really happy to have this in my collection now. So the second palette that I picked up from UVS Place is the Magic Mini Palette. So I got this at the same time as the other one, however I have played around with this a little bit, I am wearing it today on my eyes and I think this look turned out so pretty. I have used the shade Nana as my transition shade which is this one, I used uh, Kogi as a like deepening up shade in my crease, I used uh, the shade Ife which is this one right here which is a dark purple one out in my outer corners uh, and then I used a mix of Suba and Ozone, which are these two pink shades on like my cut crease kind of area. The quality of these are amazing and again the shades are just so pigmented. I just, oh they're so stunning. Again the shades are just so pigmented. These two right here are from the Magic palette and I am in love with the shades. I just really felt like I needed some more colorful eyeshadows in my collection which is why I picked these two up because UV's Place have some really really pigmented colorful eyeshadows and I'm so happy to have these in my collection now. So like I mentioned I also picked up two single shadows and I have them in here and just side note how pretty is this C palette? It is stunning. I picked this up at the same time actually. It has glitter on the rim and it's kind of holographic just pattern on it and it's so pretty. But these two are the shades that I picked up and they are both from Nabla. I haven't tried Nabla before so I'm really really excited to play with these. Uh, I got them at the same time as the UVS Place palettes so I haven't had time to play around with these on my eyes. So these ones are them right there. The top one is called Absinthe. So this one kind of goes from a brown to purple to green. It is really really pretty. Not sure if you will even see that much in the camera but it's stunning in real life. And then we have the second shade which I think is even more stunning which is this one right here. Which kind of goes from a purple pink to a blue and it's so stunning. Uh, and this one is called Alchemy. So like I said I haven't played around with these on my eyes yet but from this watch they look stunning. They are quite similar but still different uh, as you can see. But I definitely feel like Alchemy packs more of a punch than uh, Absinthe, but I think they're both stunning and I'm really looking forward to playing with these. So those four are the purchases I made this month uh, and although two of them are a bit larger, I kind of count them as items in and out of my collection, so I count those as four products going into my collection. So for my collection I actually went through my base products this month and decided to declutter some and most of them are things that I know are too dark for me, so they're kind of summer foundations for me and some of them are even too dark to be summer foundations um, they're kind of shades that I picked up in the winter time uh, or when I was a bit paler and kind of in advance for my summer shade and just kind of guessing where I would be and I actually picked up the incorrect shade but the first one I have is from uh, Maybelline and this is the Superstay Better Skin Foundation this one is in the shade Ivory which is kind of a joke to me because this is not light enough to be ivory at all um, I actually use quite a bit of this, I would say that I'm about here, which is not much left at all. I actually use this to mix in with foundations, but the thing is, this is about five years old, so it's getting really, really old in my collection. And yeah, I just am not comfortable to use this on my skin anymore. And I feel like now, after this summer is over, I won't be able to wear this again until next summer, and then it will be six years old, so this one will be leaving my collection. 
Similarly, we have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Uh, this one is in the shade Light Bronze, which definitely is more of a correct name. It is quite dark, as you can see. This is definitely not my shade. Uh, I haven't used this much at all. I probably am up here, so this one is just not used. Again, this is about five years old. I picked these up around the same time. Uh, I actually picked them up when I used to live in London, which is... I moved back four and a half years ago and I know I picked these up and kind of prior to me moving back, especially this one because Bourjois is not available in Sweden and I wanted to kind of pick up a summer shade that I could use but like I said, this one is definitely too dark and I kind of definitely guess incorrectly when it comes to uh, the shade I was. So this one again will be leaving my collection because it's just really really old and I didn't use it that much during this past summer. So the last foundation that I'm decluttering is not kind of in the same category and as those two. This one is just one that isn't working for me. This one is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation um, and I have this in the shade Fair. I picked this up previously in the year and I did a first impression of this and I really quite liked the foundation itself. However, I think this breaks me out and I have used this to mix in with foundations and I would say that I probably used up about half of this but I just have too many foundations and I know that if I use too much of this into the mix, uh, it will break me out. So I just kind of decided that it's time to declutter this one because I don't really want to put something on my face that may break me out. Um, and it's not that I don't have any other foundations because I definitely do and it's just time to declutter this one. I know I already spent my money and it feels like kind of a waste just throwing it away. But yeah, it wasn't too expensive, so I don't feel too bad. And I actually got some use out of it before decluttering it. But yeah, I just don't want to use this anymore, so it's leaving my collection. And then I have one more face product, and that one is from Ole Henriksen. And this one is the Perfect Truth CC Eye Cream. Um, and this is kind of like a concealer. It says eye cream, but it's definitely tinted and awful swatch, I know, but that is it right there. So first of all, it is definitely too dark for me to use most year round. It is almost too dark to use as an under eyes concealer, even in the summertime for me. And secondly, this is really, really pink tone. It doesn't really work for me because I have more of a yellow undertone uh, in my skin. And thirdly, I don't really like the formula of this and I should have decluttered it before, but yeah, I just kind of keep kept it around because it has SPF 15 in it, although I've had this long enough that that is probably gone by now. And also I wanted to have this for more no makeup makeup days, but the shade is just not right for me, so it's time to declutter this one as well. And then the last two items I'm decluttering are two loose eyeshadows. I just realized that I don't reach for these. I have kept these around for so long, but I can probably count the times I've used this over the last two years on one hand which means that I haven't used these much at all. And they are really, really pretty. They're really, really sparkly and beautiful. But I just have so many other eyeshadows that I love. So these are just a hassle to use and I don't reach for them. So I think I will probably give these to my mom because I know she have used loose eyeshadows before and she enjoys them. So uh, she may get to play with these and try them out and otherwise I will just throw them away. The first one is from H&M and this is probably in their old packaging which tells you that this is a bit older but eyeshadow doesn't go bad as fast as for example a foundation. But this one is in the shade Pink Dust and it's really really pretty but I just don't reach for it. And then the second one is uh, from Berry M and it's the Dazzle Dust in the shade... It's completely rubbed off, but I think it's mushroom. So counting up all the products that I'm declaring this month, uh, that will be a total of six products. And I also used up two products in my last empties video, so you can check that out as well. Which means that my total of products leaving my collection this month is eight. So mind you that these two are obviously larger than, for example, two loose eyeshadows, but that's just kind of how I count it. Um, I always have, and yeah, um, I... I'm still really happy, although I brought in two large palettes, but they're both palettes that I've been wanting for so long. Um, and yeah, I just kind of saw the bargain and I just had to pick them up. So that kind of concludes this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And the playlist with all of my other beauty balances would be up in the cards. And otherwise, I hope you're having the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.